hi guys welcome back to my channel today is a travel day so it's exciting i'm excited to go back home because i realized that um after this i won't be able to go home until like easter so it'll be kind of nice to go home for uh, like a week and a half so yeah i'm really excited but first i i'm gonna go return that watch to target because it's just not worth it <laughs> it's too big and i just don't want to deal with that it's just not worth the watch to deal with that so i'm gonna go return that and i think i'm gonna get a coffee and then we're gonna leave so yeah i'm all packed packed all my skincare makeup and everything and then i have all this stuff that i'm taking home some of it we're giving back to alex's parents that we've used my parents stored stuff gifts and then i have two more garbage bags of donations that i'm gonna give so yeah we got a lot of stuff to pack the car with but i'm just so thankful that we actually have a car because or else it just would not work out i don't know what we would do <laughs> so i'm thankful that we have a car right now because alex's mom let, let us use her car so i'm so thankful for that so yeah I'll take you along for a little road trip. Hey guys, so I returned my watch and I just got pimple patches. I really wanted to get this fleece but i didn't get it because i told myself i need to stop shopping for myself also they had an extra small which would have fit but i feel like i would like the way a small fit better and they didn't have a small and my old self would have just gotten the extra small but my new self has self-control it isn't going to just buy everything that i see and like because it always turns into me donating them or getting rid of them. So I'm trying to be more cautious of the things that I buy. And if I don't like it, return it. <laughs> because I'm so not like a returning person. I just hate returning things. But I'm going out of my way to do so. And just not keep everything. And then never wear it and get rid of it. So yeah, and the things that I did keep. I'm going to make more use of or wear more often instead of having all the stuff in my closet and everywhere but yeah I have like four pimple patches on and this pimple is pretty bad so it's, I can like feel it through the patch um yeah and then I ended up getting a coffee I got a vanilla sweet cream cold brew with the vanilla foam on top vanilla sweet cream foam on top but it does not taste like it. And I'm pretty sure I have my taste back. So I don't know. I went to the Starbucks and Macy's. Which I've never gone to the Starbucks and Macy's. And I actually really liked it. It's very spacious. And there's lots of places to sit. Which I really liked. So yeah. I got a pastry and I ate it while I was waiting for my coffee. It was just like a nice moment. <laughs> this lady next to me was laughing a lot. <laughs> That's great for her don't know what at what but yeah <laughs> so I'm just cleaning my apartment now because I'm the type of person that my apartment has to literally be spotless before I leave because I hate coming back to a dirty apartment like in any way like all the laundry needs to put away everything needs to be washed like I'm washing all the towels right now they're in the dryer and then I'm gonna wash and then I'm currently washing the dish rags because I just hate coming back to anything dirty. Like, it really just bothers me. And we're getting rid of our coffee table because it's literally a piece of crap. My dad's making us a new one, so I'm so excited. So, my dad's really good at that kind of stuff. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Um, Alex always says he should quit his job and make furniture, like make that kind of stuff. And I was like, yeah, that'd be pretty cool. But he's really good at it. He made like the outdoor dining room table at my parents' house. I'll have to show you guys. It's super nice. 
he he's just like really good at it so i asked him to make me this coffee table because it is like sold out everywhere a back order everywhere everywhere i look i it's like a certain coffee table that i want and they're like thousands of dollars it's back ordered to like may july depending on where you look i've been looking at this one at anthropology and it's like a grand and it which i've never spent that much on a coffee table i'm just you know in my 20s like i probably would do that later in life but that's like a lot of money for me at this moment to drop on a coffee table just at to where i am at in my life and so it would be like a big deal and it doesn't get here till may so i'm like it's december <laughs> so i don't know that's been frustrating and then there was this one at pottery barn which is like triple the price and doesn't get here till july and i'm like what the heck and i was looking at it and i was like my dad could definitely make this for sure so i asked him and he was like oh yeah i could make that and i'm like i knew it so i'm kidding so yay for that <laughs> But yeah, and then there's this rug that I want to get, and then a new couch eventually. <laughs> I really want like a heather gray light couch. I just don't like leather, it's not my thing. So yeah, we'll see about the couch thing. will obviously take longer, but the new living room, you guys, it's coming along. So we just did the rug. It is all um different colors now from the sun the sun dyed it darker <laughs> and then where the couch was laying on it it's lighter so peace out to that rug no one's gonna want that it's like an indoor outdoor so it would have been nice for outdoor but definitely don't recommend it <laughs> it's from target and see ya to that sucker it's so bad you guys literally i touched it and that happened it is awful i hate it so yeah, that's great. Did all that. Now we just have to take those down and we will be done with those. Awful impulse items that I bought. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Told you guys, I'm starting a new leaf where I don't do that anymore. I'm gonna actually think about the things that I buy. So yeah, exciting. No one speak to me. Like honestly, my little nail. And they were my real nails. I'm pissed. I didn't even feel it. It's a really sad day. But we got the car packed. Oh my god, why is it so blurry? We got the car packed up. It's a bunch of crap back there. It's under everything. And then we have to put the rug there because we're ditching that sucker. But we got the water, phone, little quote to remind you guys, coffee. And I remembered that on the way here, I got these bad boys. Hee <laughs> hee. Sweet hearts. They're so good. So we're off, you guys. A little heartbroken, a little sad, but a little bit of rage, but we're all packed up. <laughs>